Hey guys, the objective for this video is to discuss shear flow compared to shear stress. So we introduced in the last couple of videos shear stress and we worked out an equation for that in terms of um, the height of our section and the distance from the neutral axis uh, y. And that was dependent on the width of our section at a certain point. So we're now going to introduce um, shear flow. And what that's useful for is when we have a, cr a cross section which has varying width. So by taking the shear stress and multiplying by the width at that certain location, we're going to get a continuous distribution over um, the cross section. So this is going to have units, most commonly kilonewtons per millimeter. And the shear stress had uh, units, most commonly newtons over millimeter squared, or more commonly megapascals. So shear stress is going to have a discontinuous distribution when we're looking at a cross section which varies um, in width. But anyway, guys, we'll be looking at this in more detail in the coming videos. So I'll see you guys in the next video.